Hey guys, I got another requested jeans video for you today. I have the Redhead brand company and this is their, oh what is it called? They're called Redhead Classic Fit Denim Jeans for Men. And we're gonna try it out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots with eight different toe shapes to see what these are like. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way as always, guys, thank you for the request on this Redhead brand company that you can get from Bass Pro Shops. Uh, you guys definitely uh, requested this. I had no idea about this brand at all, so I'm really excited, actually, because they look kind of cool. So I hope they deliver. But before we try on these jeans, we got to get into the rundown. As I mentioned, this is the Redhead Classic Fit Denim Jeans. This is their stonewash color. The Classic Fit is described on BassPros.com as trimming the seat and the thighs and straight leg with slightly wider opening to fit over boots. So they've already thought about that in a $20 jean. That's pretty impressive. We'll see if it actually means anything. This also features 100% cotton, and that's a 13 and a half ounce weight cotton. They also have stackable sizes, which is really cool and nice for a cheaper jean. So I was able to get a 3236, which is the size of jean that I like to wear with straight legs. It allows them to shrink up a little bit too, and I'm able to stack with boots, which apparently this jean is already made for. It has a zip closure. They are made in Mexico, and they're coming in at $19.99 at Bass Pro. Com. Now let's try on these jeans. All right, let's kick things off with a roper. This is an Ariat Heritage roper with a round toe and it comes in at about 10 inches tall. The thing with stacking jeans with shorter boots like ropers is sometimes you get a bucket effect where the jeans sag into the top of the boot like we're getting here. It may go away after these jeans are dried, but I'm not a huge fan of this look. Next up, let's take a look at a similar toe shape, but a more cowboy style boot with a one and a half inch tall heel and it comes up 13 inches tall. I love the leg opening of this jean. It stops right where I love it on boots where you see enough of the heel. Uh, on a couple of boots, it might be a little high, but I really like it on this Nakona. All right, next up is an Arto. This is the Abilene 6650, and it has about a one and a half inch heel, and it comes up about 13 inches tall. Because the leg opening is a bit more narrow, I'm getting a little bit more stack, so these look longer than what I thought they would. Still, it's not bad. Up next, let's take a look at a J-Toe. This is a BNV Water Buffalo calf boot with a one and five eighths inch heel and it comes up 13 inches tall. This is so classic looking. Honestly, these redhead jeans are living up to that classic fit name with these J-Toes. It looks so traditional with that J-Toe and I'm loving it. Next up, let's take a look at a snip toe. This is a Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman Tail boot with a one and a half inch heel and it comes up 13 inches tall. Again, just like with that last boot, this is so classic looking with these pointed and pointed round toe shapes and I just think it looks spectacular. All right, let's take a look at a narrow square toe boot. This is a Fenolio Black Victoria Rough Out and it comes up about 13 inches tall with a one and a half inch heel. That top is narrow, more narrow than a lot of the other boots that we've seen. And because of how these boots are made with that narrow top, it makes the jeans land a little bit higher up on the counter. So you're able to see much more of that heel and I don't mind it at all. Onto the French toe, this is a Boulet model number 8502 Cayman belly boot with a one and a half inch heel and it comes up 12 inches tall. And we can see the jeans are stacking more because they land higher on the heel counter again, which gives us a little bit more bunching at the knees as well. Finally, here is the wide square toe with a double stitch welt. This is an Anderson Bean model number S1099 full quill ostrich boot. 
it comes up 13 inches tall with a one and a quarter stockman heel. Usually I like to cover up more of the heel counter with ropers and wide square toe boots with shorter heels, but this looks pretty decent. I don't mind it at all. Overall, it seems like a good jean. All right, so I wore these over the weekend while moving from our sublet in Ithaca to our more long-term rental. You can see the new background here. And I've noticed one thing that kind of set me back from this being my new favorite jean. I'm not a super flexible guy, but I'm way more flexible than these jeans. It was so difficult to get up in the back of the truck uh, just because these would hold me up right here. Uh, I couldn't swing my leg around. So if you find yourself in similar situations where you need to get up in the back of a truck on a regular basis or in a saddle and you need to swing your leg around, these definitely held me back quite a bit. But that said, I do like how these feel. And I like the weight of the denim for an under $20 jean. These have a nice weight for a work jean and they look good too. Like that's a combination that you just don't usually come across where the jean has a good weight where you feel like you can do some work in it, but it also looks good too. For under $20, I think that's really nice, but it's not something that you're gonna wanna wear if you're jumping up in the back of a truck or up in the saddle because um, it's just not as flexible down here in the crotch as I would like it to be. And you can see here that they did shrink up in the machine dryer just a bit. I dried them on a low heat and they didn't shrink up as much as I thought, but you can see that we aren't getting as much bucket on those ropers and it still looks really classic with the Jato as well. I may have to try this on a higher temperature. It's giving me a lot more leniency on uh, being able to dry it and giving it a little bit more shrinking in the machine dryer. So that is really nice. I thought it would shrink up way, way more, even on a low heat, as many of these uh, cheaper jeans with 100% cotton tend to do. But uh, I got less than what I thought. So uh, maybe I'll try it on a higher heat next time. Uh, overall, I think these are a nice jean for working if you're not trying to be very flexible. If you're looking for excuses not to be very flexible and while you're working, then this might be a good jean for you as well. I think it looked really cool and the weight is really nice, uh, but the flexibility of this jean is definitely a downside. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you guys around. Peace. Those redhead jeans live up to their classic name. They got that classic look that never seems to fade. They just ain't that flexible. But what you want for 120 to the 100 decimal? Redhead jeans live up to their classic name. Yes. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this flexible jean up here with the Wrangler 20X? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe over here and I'll see you next time. You are the best. Peace. Have a good one.